All right, at this point, you're looking to figure out how to add pages and what style of navigation do you want to establish. Now, the first thing to add a page, we have our home page. But if you want another page, it's right here. You might want to have a page for your class calendar. I have pages for every unit, and then the stuff from that unit might go underneath that page, which I will show you. So we're going to make a few pages today. We're going to do what a sample unit might look like and I'll just use my content. So first thing, new page. Uh, page name will be um, standard one. Or let's do something real. We'll just call this Newton's Laws. You have choices of what you want. Um, announcement kind of embeds a blog. Uh, that's an advanced feature that we'll go over later. File cabinet means I just want a page where I can upload files. This is good if you're not doing Google Docs or Dropbox. If you're doing those two, just hyperlink to those pages. But the file cabinet is a great place if you just want to put a bunch of files up there for students to ac access. I always like to put things under top level because they tend not to get lost. I don't want Newton's Laws to be a sub page of home and then the class calendar to also be a sub page of home because I might forget that I put those underneath home. So when I make a new page, I always leave it on put under top level. I've got my title. I've got my page type. Let's create it. Now, first thing I want to do is change my layout. I like one, two, one. And I might have stuff like um, overview, right? This is a whole unit, so overview, content ideas, um, other stuff. And then here's my topic one, Newton's first law. Standard two in this unit will be, guess what, Newton's second. Standard three might be Newton's third law. And that's my Newton's law unit page. I might have tons of other stuff on here, but for now that's what it is. Let's save it. I want to create a page that goes with each one. Maybe it has that week's worth of assignments or videos or links. I'm going to have another page for Newton's second law and another page for Newton's third. So let's make Newton's first law page now. It's okay to leave it at the top level. Create. So this is Newton's first law. I want to change the layout to the one, two, one. And now I'm going to add some things. Let's add vocab at the top. Now let's go objectives, vocab, assignments, and videos and links. That sounds good. But here's the thing. I want all of my individual topic pages under the Newton's Law U unit to follow this format. So here's what I do. I go to more and I'm going to save this page as a template. I'm going to make this a personal template of mine. And I'm going to call this standard template. I could have just as very well named the Newton's Law unit page unit template. Location top level, save. Now, so let's make a couple more. Oops, standard template, save. And then we're going to make another page. Now this is going to be Newton's second law. Now, it can be a web page as normal, but I also have the standard template that I made. Put at the top level, create. There it is, and it has all those sections that I liked. Save that. Uh, let's add another page.
Newton's third law. And I want to pick my standard template. Create. Score. It's all set up for me. Now I want to navigate them. So I'm back at the home button. And I've made all these pages, but I want to get them up there so people can access them. It's going to be under More, Manage Site, we're going to scroll down here to Site Layout, oops, sorry, not Site Layout. Okay, check that. Google just changed their layout and I like what they did a lot better. I'm super excited that I made this video on the same day that they changed it because this is way better than what it used to be. So back to what I was saying. I want to add these buttons all the way across for each unit. So I'm going to go to more. Edit site layout. Now your site should look like, you should be seeing this right now. What I want to add is a horizontal navigation bar. You can also do this with the sidebar. If I press the sidebar button, there's all my navigation. But this is, it could be better. I want to make this better. So let's take, and I want more width for content. So I'm just going to put a horizontal navigation bar. And now I want to hover over this and click to edit. I'm going to add a page, and you have to scroll down a bit, and I want Newton's Laws as my unit page. Scroll down some more. This is a sad thing about Google. I don't know why, but I have to scroll down and get to OK, and it appears right up here. I want it, say, in boxes. Well, let's do tabs. Press OK. And there is my button that will take me to here. I would also like it that when I hover over this, the rest of the unit pages drop down. So I'm going to click here to edit, add page, Newton's first law, add, and then when it's right under Newton's laws, I'm going to press indent, add page, Newton's second law. OK, and it's automatically indented now. Add page, Newton's third law. OK. Everything looks good. Saved it. So I put all of these underneath Newton's laws, and there they are. Now when I add a new unit, I add the standards with a page for each standard, and then another unit, and so on. And that's adding pages and dealing with the horizontal navigation component. So we can see how it takes up way less space than the sidebar. Because the sidebar is always showing all the pages. I don't want that. Undo sidebar. I want this horizontal feature right here that only shows the extra pages when I want them.